Arrow Diagramming Method Example and Calculation Steps Arrow Diagramming Method is a network diagramming technique in which activities are represented by arrows. ADM is also known as the Activity on Arrow Method. It has been used a long time to determine the critical path and identify resource problems and feasible solutions when the approximate duration and resource requirement of all the activities of the network diagram are known. Main Elements of Arrow Diagramming Method There are two main elements of the Arrow Diagramming Method which are arrows and nodes. One arrow represents one activity to be performed. The tail of the arrow is the start of the activity, the head of the arrow is the end of the activity and the length of the arrow is the duration of the activity. In the forward pass, we calculate the start dates of all the nodes. In the backward pass, the end node start date will be its finish date and the backward pass proceeds by subtracting the duration of the activities leading to the end node from the end node's finish date to arrive at the finish dates for the preceding nodes. Arrow Diagramming Method Example in this example A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G rows are representing the activities. Numbers above the rows are activity durations. As shown in the schema above, in arrow diagramming method, only FS relationship is used to link activities. Step 1, Forward Pass Calculation. In the forward pass, the early start and early finish values for each activity, along with the overall project duration, are calculated. To facilitate schedule calculations, an end-of-day notation is used for both the early start and the late start values. Step 2. Backward Pass Calculation In order to calculate late start, we apply backward pass moving from late finish and deducting from activity duration. Step 3. Float Calculation Float can be calculated by subtracting the start date of an activity from its finish date. Step 4. Identifying the Critical Path the critical path is the longest path in the network diagram and the total float of critical path is zero. As shown in the schema, the critical path is marked red. The arrow diagramming method and the precedence diagramming method are two network scheduling techniques. The first one is the traditional one used widely in the past. The second one is the current method that we are using widely now.